Hey guys, what's up? It's me, HBZ, and today on this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Iconomy and why I have it installed on my server. Right now, I'm on the Dark Demon Minecraft server in my own, and it's running the Heomon Manager, and the Heomon Manager allows me, the server admin, to add plugins to uh, customize the Minecraft experience by adding on additional features that the vanilla game doesn't have. And uh, this is my house right here. I'm working on it, but I decided to stop and show you guys how to use this because some of you guys on the forums don't know how to use this, and I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. Uh, for all you guys who have never played Minecraft, all uh, two of you, you just simply type in backslash help and question mark, and what that will do, actually, no, not question mark, backslash help simply and it will pull up a page of uh, commands you can do. As you can see on my screen, I have one page of eight. If you want to see more help pages, you just type in backslash help and the page number. I can go up to eight. So let's go to eight. Well, really, I can go up to eight. Some of you might not be able to. Some of you don't have the commands I do. But you can go up to however many pages it says up there in the description. So let's type in help again. And you can see all the uh, commands you can do. To simply put in a command, you just type in backslash the command and whatever is inside the brackets you can see there that's a variable you can put in that will always change so let's see a player a player means simply a player on the server that you wanted to to do since I have like a ban IP I can uh, just type in slash ban IP the player so I can just put anything so let's put limp because he's on the server and then after that I just put a reason anything I want and that will allow me to use ban IP. So anything in the brackets, guys, that's a variable. You can change that to whatever amount you want. So let's get started with Iconomy. Iconomy has four commands. Uh, the first starting being money. Next one is shop. The third is auction. And the fourth is lottery. These four commands you can see here at the bottom make up Iconomy. You can use each one. And to see exactly what each one can do, you type in backslash money and question mark. Now this will pull up a list, just like help, of commands you can do to use it. So money here is Iconomy's uh, way of telling you how much money you have, how much uh, other money uh, other player has, and just to see who has the top amount of money. Basically, this will allow you to trade money to other people for, I don't know, items that you want to trade. So let's type in backslash money, and what I'll do is show you guys your balance. I have just 32 coin, and uh, you other other people will have different amounts. Use simple command to see how much money you got. To see how much money another player's got, you just type in backslash money, and the player's name. And <laughs> Limp only has 100 coin. He hasn't been using it very much. And if, also, if I wanted to give another player money, I type in backslash money, credit to give the player name and the amount up there in the brackets you see P the letter P and letter A the letter P means player and the letter A means the amount so I'm gonna give limp one coin and that's how the money trading works for that and really if you guys won't have all the money <laughs> you won't have all the money uh, commands up there I will because I got it set to give or take money in the reset just in case something happens but really that's all money is and it's very simple let's go over to shop next type in shop uh, backslash shop question mark and you'll see it has the same setup as money except a little bit different because you have a list you, so shop is used to buy or sell items from the server and uh, you really this is only used for the server you can't use this for other players other players have a different system. You use signs to sell and stock up on items. But, uh, right now, let's let me show you how to use shop. If I type in backslash shop on this in this case, I stands for item and A stands for amount. So if I wanted to see on the server how much uh, logs are, the wood you get from trees, I type in log backslash shop log, and it'll pull from the server that you can buy it for each for four coin or sell it for each for two coin so if I actually want to buy a log I type in a backslash shop you can see on here on the I think yep you can get on the fifth uh, line down is where it 
you actually start to buy or sell items. So you type a backslash shop buy in the item uh, log, and you just hit enter, and now I'll simply deduct four coin from your account and give you one log for how much it was. It's really simple. You just buy or sell items. If you wanted to sell an item, you backslash shop sell instead of buy, then the item name. So let's give it back one log. And it's set up to give you a half right now. I'm gonna have to change the properties to decide whether or not, you know, balance out the ecosystem of coin. I don't got it really perfect yet, but I'll do that later. If you wanted to buy more than one log, you type in backslash shop. Uh, you also you then you type in buy, and you'll see up there on the second the last command, it's buy the item you want and the amount you want. So I want to buy two logs this time. Just type in two. And there we go. It'll deduct eight coin and I'll get two logs. It's really simple. And that's basically how shop works. Just those two commands is what you want to do. If you want to pull up a page of items that you can buy, you see the third and fourth line on the commands. Shop list. If I want to pull up the buy com the buy page, I type in list buy then the page number. So let's type in page five. And up here you can see I have 15 pages total of items, and I just pulled up page 5. And that's really simple how you use it. After using this a couple times, you'll understand and really won't need that help page. You'll just uh, keep, you'll just type commands on the fly of what you want. And it's very powerful. Now let's do an easy one next, lottery. Lottery on this uh, plugin, there's really only one command at your disposal. Just backslash lottery. And... I don't have enough money, but I'll show you what happens. You'll see here that you can purchase a ticket for 100 coin, and when you do that, 100 coin will be deducted from your account, but you'll get given a virtual ticket, and you'll gamble on whether you get a rare item or not. Just like a real lottery, if I paid 100 and I was lucky, I'd get a rare item from that. If I wasn't so lucky, I would lose at 100 coin and just try again. That's really only what lottery does. And the next on the list and the final one is auction. Now, auction it works just like a real auction, like on uh, websites like eBay or whatnot. As you can see here, you can start auctions, bid on auctions, and end auctions. If I wanted to see if there was an auction going on at the moment, I type in backslash auction. But th but there really is no auction going on, so it'll tell me. If I wanted to start one, on the second line up there, you'll see that you can just simply type in backslash auction, start it, how many seconds, the item that I want to sell, the amount, so let's sell my two logs, my starting bid, let's sell it for eight coin, for how much it's worth. And if I hit enter, it will show me on the console, oh, console right here, auction has begun, I started an auction, two logs, and starting of eight coin. <laughs> Everybody's saying how you do it, which I'm actually going to show them here. So, and it will, this will last for two minutes, and if nobody bids, I'll get my logs back and nobody will get anything. If somebody actually bids on it, it will give them the eight coin and how many, um, how much coin was uh, paid for it will come into my account. And if I just wanted to end it real fast, if I nobody was buying anything, I didn't really want to take up space for other people to do things. I type in backslash auction end, and I'll just quickly end my auction and give you back my items. Now, um, really, that's all Iconomy has. It's really simple four commands with the uh, subcategories of commands that you can use for each. There's one other system for this. I have set it up so you can use signs to sell to other players you can uh, fill up with stock and sell to other people that need them so if somebody ran into my shop and I was selling obsidian someone can simply go in there click on the sign and buy my obsidian and coin will be de deducted into my account it's really simple as you can see here I have it set up to I'm making a cactus farm to sell cactuses it's a little bit expensive now so I will be able to sell these to the server once I get enough and make a profit. But that's really how Ikami works in a sense. And I hope you guys learned how to use it from this and hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks guys.